Hello my dear students this is Prerna welcome back to knowledge of maths in today's video we are going to learn properties of whole numbers so these are the properties of whole numbers close up property of addition and multiplication commutative property of addition and multiplication associative property of addition and multiplication distributive property of multiplication over addition and identity of for addition and multiplication let's learn all the properties one by one with the help of example here this is the first property closer property of addition and multiplication first i'll explain closer property of addition okay it says that the sum of any two whole numbers is a whole number means if we take two whole numbers and if we add them we get the answer as whole number only okay so let's take an example here i am taking two numbers as 5 and 7 and if we add that we get the answer as 12 which is also a whole number okay so let's take one more example uh, i'll take the number 62 and 33 and i'm going to add them i'll get the answer as 95 which is also a whole number so from these two examples we understand that the sum of any two whole numbers is a whole number and which is a closer property of addition okay so let's understand now closer property of multiplication it says that the product of any two whole numbers is a whole number means if we take two whole numbers and if we multiply them then I, we get the product as a whole number only okay so let's take example uh, i am taking here 9 and 3 and i am going to multiply them then i'll get the answer as 27 as these three numbers are a whole number okay so let's take one more example 44 and 12 when i multiply them then i'll get the answer as 528 which is also a whole number so from this both the examples we understand that the product of any two whole numbers is a whole number and that is the closer property of multiplication okay so let's move to the next property that is commutative property of addition and multiplication first we will understand commutative property of addition okay it says that if we add any two whole numbers in any order we get the same answer means if we take two numbers two whole numbers and if we uh, add them we will get one answer but if we change the numbers i mean places of that number then also we will get the same answer let's understand this with the help of example here i am taking two whole numbers that is 2 and 6 and i am adding them i'll get the answer as 8 okay if i interchange the places of 2 and 6 as 6 plus 2 then i'll get the same answer as 8 okay let's take one more example uh, 82 and 14 when i add them i'll get the answer as 96 if i change the places of 82 and 14 as 14 plus 82 then also i'll get the same answer as 96 uh, this what the commutative property from this both the examples what we understand we understand that if we add any two whole numbers in any order we will get the same answer okay and this is the commutative property of addition now let's take commutative property of multiplication okay it says that if we multiply any two whole numbers in any order we get the same answer okay means if we take any two whole numbers and if we multiply them uh, what we will get the answer no the same answer we will get if we change interchange the places of that number okay uh you will better understand with the help of example let's take uh, number 9 and 4 if we multiply them we will get the answer as 36 but we if we change the places of 9 and 4 means if we write the 4 first and then 9 then also we will get the same answer as 36 you can understand this by uh, with the help of table see here uh, in the table 9 fours are 36 is the same way 49s are 36s understood na see here 9 fours also 36 and 49s also 
same way i'll take one more example that is 7 2s are 14 and here 2 7s are 14 even though the places of these two numbers are interchanged we will get the same answer and that is the property of multiplication let's take one more example here i am taking the number 22 and 74 if i multiply them i'll get the answer as 1628 if i change the place of those numbers 22 and 74 as 74 into 22 then also i'll get the same answer as 1628 so from both of this um examples what we understand if we multiply any two whole numbers in any order we get the same answer and that is the commutative property of multiplication now let's move to the next property that is associative property of addition and multiplication first we will take associative property of addition it says that when an expression has three terms they can be grouped in any way to add the grouping of numbers will never change the result of addition means if we have three terms in an expression you can make group of first two numbers and add or you can make group of last two numbers and add there will be no uh, no change in the result okay now so let's take example here i am taking three terms that is two three and four okay and as we have to add i'll put plus sign okay now in the first expression i'll put bracket for two and three and in the next expression i'll put bracket for three and four so we will uh, solve the first expression 2 plus 3 will give you the answer as 5. So, 5 plus 4 will give you the answer as 9. Now, let's solve the second expression. Uh, 3 plus 4 will give you the answer as 7. 7 plus 2 will give you the answer as 9. So, we got the same answer. Uh, let's take one more example. Uh, let's take three numbers as 14, 70 and 22. Okay. As we have to add, I'll put plus sign. I'll make the group of 14 and 70 in the first expression and in the second expression I'll make the group of 70 and 22. Now let's solve the first expression that is 14 plus 70 will give you the answer as 84 and then 84 plus 22 will give you the answer as 106. Now in the second expression 70 plus 22 is equal to 92 and 92 plus 14 is equal to 106. So, we got the same result. So, from both of these ex uh, examples, we understand that uh, when an expression has three terms, they can be grouped in any way to add. The grouping of numbers will never change the result of addition. And this is the associative property of addition. Okay. Now, look after the associative property of multiplication says that when an expression has three terms, they can be grouped in any way to multiply. Okay. The grouping of numbers will never change the result of multiplication. Means, if we have three terms in an expression and uh, we have to multiply them, we can make group of first two numbers and multiply and then or else we can make the group of last two numbers and multiply. There will not be change in the result okay let's understand this with the help of example uh, i am taking here the three numbers as 5 6 and 7 and as we have to multiply i'll put multiplication sign and in the first expression i'll make the group of 5 and 6 and in the second expression i'll make the group of 6 and 7 so let's solve the first expression 5 6 are 30 30 into 7 will give you the answer as 210 now let's solve the second expression that is 6 into 7 is equal to 42 42 into 5 will give you the answer as 210 okay we got the same answer let's take one more example 11 50 and 32 okay i'll put plus uh, multiplication sign now let's make the group of 11 and 50 in the first expression and the group of 50 and 32 in the next expression let's solve the first expression 11 into 50 is equal to 550 550 into 32 is equal to 17600 okay now 
let's solve the second expression that is 15 to 32 will give you the answer as 1600 1600 into 11 is equal to 17600 you can check it out in with the help of calculator uh, from this both of these examples we understand that the grouping of numbers will never change the result of multiplication and this is the associative property of multiplication now let's move to the next property that is distributive property of multiplication over addition it says that the sum of two or more addends multiplied by a number gives the same answer as distributing the multiplier multiplying each addend separately and adding the products together actually this is a bit complicated um, you will better understand this property with examples. So, let's take an example. Uh, here, what they said? Sum of two or more addends. So, we will take two numbers. That is 3 and 5. And we have to find the sum. So, we will put plus sign here. And then, multiplied by a number. This expression we have to multiply with a number. Let's say 7. Okay. Uh, that will give the same answer as this second statement. So, first we will find out the answer of this expression. 3 plus 5u is equal to 8. 8 into 7 will give you the answer as 56. Okay. So, next second statement is distributing the multiplier. Means uh, what we have to do? We have to, multi uh, we have to distribute this multiplier with each add and separately. Okay, means we have to multiply this 7 with each of these addends and then adding the products together. Means we have to multiply this 7 with 5 as well as 3 and then we have to add product. Okay, then also we will get the same answer. Let's check it 7 into 3 and 7 into 5 and then we have to add it. Okay, so 7 3s are what? 21 and 7 5 is a 35. So, 21 plus 35 will give you the answer as 56. Yeah, we got the same answer. Let's check it out with another example. Now, let's take the three numbers as 2, 4 and uh, sorry. Uh, first, we will take two numbers that is 2 and 4 and we have to multiply this expression with the number 6. Okay. So, first we will uh, add these two numbers. So, what we got? 2 plus 4 is 6 and then 6 into 6 is, gives us 6, 36. Okay. So, according to this second statement, we have to multiply this 6 with each of these addends. Okay. And then we have to add the product. So, multiply 6 with 2 and 6 with 4. Okay. So, 6 into 2 and 6 into 4. And let's put the bracket and then we have to add it. So, 6 2s are 12 and 6 4s are 24. Let's add 12 plus 24 will give you the answer as 36. Okay. So, from both of these examples, what we understood, the sum of two or more addends multiplied by a number gives the same answer as distributing the multiplier, multiplying each addend separately and adding the products together. And this is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. Actually, it is a bit complicated, but it is very useful. Okay, so before moving to next property, I want to tell you the use of distributive property. Hmm. So, according to distributive property, when we have to multiply two numbers, we can break up one of the number into parts. Multiply each part by the other number and then add or subtract the products. The result will be the same as the product of the two original number. So, um, means uh, uh, actually this distributive property is very useful when we have uh, when we have to multiply a number with a complicated number. Like uh, let's take an example of 5 into 78. Now here 78 is a bit complicated number. If we have to multiply such a small number with a bigger number, then we can split this number. Okay. Means 78 we can write it as 70 plus 8 or we can write it as 80 minus 2. Even though if we split this and we uh, calculate it, we will get the same answer. Okay, 
so let's first uh, find out the answer of 5 into 78 with the we are getting answer as 390 let's check whether we are getting the same answer after applying this distributive property okay so what they are saying we can break up one of the number into parts so let's break up this 78 as 70 plus 8 so 5 into 70 plus 8 Hmm. and then what they say multiply each part by the other number and then add or subtract the products now here we have splitted in terms of addition so we have to add the products okay so first we have to multiply this 5 with 70 and 8 so 5 into 70 and 5 into 8 and then we have to add the product okay so 5 into 70 will give you the answer as 350 and 5 into 8 will give you the answer as 40. Now we have to add these products. We got the answer as 390 which is equal to the original answer. Right? Now let's check it out with the help of subtraction. Okay. If we uh, split this 78 as 80 minus 2. Let's check. 5 into 78 is equal to 5 into 80 minus 2. Okay. According to the distributive property, we have to multiply this 5 with 80 as well as 2. Okay. So, 5 into 80 and 5 into 2 and we have to subtract the product. Okay. So, 5 into 80 will give you the answer as 400 and 5 into 2 is equal to 10. So, 400 minus 10 is equal to 390 which is equal to the original answer. So, this is the use of distributive property which will help you when we have to multiply a number with a complicated or we can say bigger number. Okay. So, um, this is very useful. Now, let's move to the next property that is identity for addition and multiplication. So, identity for addition is the number 0. The number 0 has special role in addition. That is, when we add 0 to any whole number, the result is same whole number. For example, if we add 3 plus 0, we will get the answer as 3 only. If we add 5, 573 plus 0, we will get the answer as 573 only. So, 0 is called an identity for addition of whole numbers or additive identity for whole numbers. Okay. So, let's move to the next that is identity for multiplication. The number 1 has special role in multiplication as the number 0 has special role in addition. No. Same way the number 1 has special role in multiplication that is when we multiply 1 with any whole number the result is same whole number. For example if I take the number 7 and I multiply 7 with 1 I will get the answer is 7 only. And let's take one more example uh, 809 if I multiply 809 with 1 I will get the answer is 809 only. Therefore. 1 is called an identity for multiplication of whole numbers or multiplicative identity for whole numbers. Here all the properties of whole numbers end up. So if you like my teaching then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. It will encourage me if you, uh, if you subscribe I'll understand that you are like my you like my teaching so please like share and subscribe to my channel bye everyone